I know there are many metal fans that love to hate on the band Ghost, but personally, I think that is misguided. I think they are awesome. They're one of my all-time favorite bands, and today I'm ranking every one of their songs from S tier to F tier based on my personal preferences. I think some of my choices might be a bit controversial, so I'm a little nervous, but let's go ahead. All right, so this is pretty much every Ghost song, I think excluding a couple of recent covers, maybe. In terms of how I'm planning to rank these, S tier will be my absolute favorite songs and also the songs that are the most iconically Ghost. A tier are my favorite songs, maybe not quite as favorite as S tier, or maybe a little bit less iconic. V tier songs I really like. C tier songs I like but don't listen to that often. D tier are probably also songs I think are okay but not exciting. And F tier would be songs I actually don't like. I'll try also to organize the tiers a bit in terms of preference, so ones closer to the letter will be a bit higher, but some of them might be kind of all the same. Looks like these are sorted by album from oldest to most recent, so let's just go in that order. Starting out with Deus Culpa. It's not really a song, it's more of an intro to the album just kind of like organ music. I would never listen to the song alone, so on that I think it has to go in D or F tier. I don't think it's bad though, so I'll just put it in D. Con Clavi, Con Dio. It's not one of my favorite songs, but I don't hate it. I do like it. I guess I'll put it in C tier though, because it's just not one I ever really listened to on its own. Ritual. This is one of my favorites. So I think I have to put it in A tier. I'm not sure what elevates tell me to S tier, but I guess I can move things around later if I need to. Here comes the Sun cover. I haven't really listened to this. I don't really listen to Ghost covers very much, so let's we'll put that down here. Elizabeth. Now this is another one of my favorites from this album. I think Ritual and Elizabeth are my top two from this album. It has some great heavy riffs, so I'm going to put that up in A tier as well, but below Ritual. Just love these riffs here. Stand By Him. This is not one of my favorite songs. I don't even really remember it that well, even though I've definitely listened to it. Let me just look it up again. I do like this part here. I mean, it has some really cool guitar riffs, but it's just not one of my favorite songs. I'm going to put it in C tier. Satan Prayer. Another one I haven't listened to that much, honestly. Let's just put it in C tier along with the other two. Death Now, I do like this song. I don't listen to it a ton, but I do think I like it more than these three songs, so I'll put it in B tier. Prime Mover. This is another song that I don't listen to on its own that much, but I do listen to when I listen to the whole album. So I'm still between C and D tier for this one as well. I don't think it's a bad song. I like all of these songs, but let's just put it in C tier with the other ones here. So far, these aren't really ordered. These are kind of all tied, but I'll let you know if I actually put one above. Genesis. Now this is the instrumental from this first album. This is a tough one too, because I don't think it's bad, but it's not one I actively choose to listen to. I generally like their non-instrumentals more than their instrumentals. And yeah, it's just hard to rank any songs in D or F tier, but I think I'll put it in D just because I don't really listen to it that often, but I don't think it's a bad song. All right, now we're on to Infestissimum. I'm realizing now that I've never said this album's name aloud, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying it the correct way, but let's rank the songs. Monster Man's Clock. This is a song I did a cover of, and I think I listened to it a bit too much, so it's not one I listen to anymore that much, but I did really enjoy it when they played it live, and I think it's a good song. Let's put it in B tier because it's kind of iconic. La Mantra Mori. I think I need to look this one up. I don't feel like this is the most exciting song and I think therefore I'll put it in D tier. Up next, the title track of the album. I think this is just the intro instrumental. Not really sure how to rank these because they are good intros to the album, but I don't listen to them alone. I listen to the one going through the whole album. So I guess based on that, I'll just put it in D tier because it's not one I listen to alone. You know, let me reorder this tier a little bit. So I'm going to move Genesis. Oh, okay, there we go. Genesis, La Mentra Mori, and then put these two last. I think I'll move Monstrance Clock above Death Knell. Perispera ad in Fairy. I like this part a lot. I think this will go in C tier. I don't know if I want to move any of the C tier ones. They're kind of all about the same for me right now. Secular Haze. I 
a good song, but not one of my favorites. Honestly, this album in general isn't my favorite of Ghost's album. I think this one will go in C tier too, which maybe I'm filling this up a bit too much in C tier. Gigolo Har Megiddo. <laughs> Honestly, not one of my favorites. Let's just put it in D tier. Goulet, Zombie Queen. This is a really cool song. I don't think it's a super popular song in general with Ghost fans, but I actually really like this one. I remember seeing them perform it live a long time ago. And it's really cool. Zombie Queen. This is one of my favorites from this album. So I think it has to go in either A or B tier. Is it as good as Ritual and Elizabeth? Maybe not. Is it better than Monstrous Clock? I think so. For now, I'll put this at the top of B tier. Year Zero. Now this is an epic song, probably my favorite from this album, and it's also just awesome live. It's very iconic with the opening. I think this might be the first S tier. Blood and Body. This is an okay song for me. I mean, I like it as I do most ghost songs, but not super memorable for the most part. I think I'll put it in D tier because I rarely listen to this one, but I do like it. Let's just put it at the top of D tier. Idolatrine, not one I listen to that much. Again, I know I keep saying that, but I honestly do really love ghosts. I just have some favorites that I listen to more than others. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in D tier. Looking at my tier list so far, maybe I'm judging things a bit too harshly since a lot is in C and D tier, but also we have kind of the best album still to come, so maybe I'm doing okay. I do like this part in this song. I think it sounds cool. Okay, you know what? This one will go in C tier, and let's put it up around here here maybe. All right, so we're on to some of their covers here. Most of these I don't listen to that often and I'd rather rank their original songs. So I think I'll just put them in this bottom category here. All right, now we're on to Meliora, which is probably my favorite ghost album. First up, Deus in Absentia. This is a really good opening song. I'll put this one in B tier. Maybe at the bottom of B tier. Zenith. Now this is an awesome song that maybe not that many people have heard because it wasn't released on any albums online until recently, but it is an awesome song. Let me just play a clip here. Love this guitar riff. Zenith is going in A tier for sure. It's maybe not quite as iconic as it could be because it wasn't really published until recently. So I don't think it's going in S tier, but somewhere in A tier. And I would put it above Elizabeth, maybe below Ritual, just in terms of iconicness as well. Spirits, another great song. I feel like this album has so many great songs. It's one of the first songs I really got into when I got into Ghost. I think I'll put it, oh, I'm between A and B tier for this one. I think I'll put it at the top of B tier. Space intro. From the pinnacle to the pit. This is a really fun one live. It's not one of my absolute favorite songs thirds, but I definitely like it a lot. And I think it is pretty iconic. I think I'll put it in B tier, probably above. I think I'll put it below spirits. Maybe I'll put it below zombie queen too, just based on personal preference, but it's definitely a great song. Cerise, now this is no question S tier for me. I think I'll put it at the top of S tier right now. It is probably my all time favorite ghost song, although I have listened to it probably a bit too much. The guitar riffs are awesome though. I love just, just the whole song in general. So definitely S tier for me. Spokesnot. This is another one of the instrumental kind of transitional songs. It sounds cool in the context of the album, not one I'd listen to. So I'll just put it in D tier because alone it's not that exciting. He is. Now, this is what I thought might be controversial. I know a lot of people love this song and I know it has good meaning behind it, but it's just never been one of my favorites. I honestly think it's a little bit boring to listen to compared to their other songs. So for me personally, I, I think this would be in, uh, in D tier, even though people are going to hate me for this one. <laughs> but it's just not one I ever really go towards. I mean, I guess compared to C tier, it's a bit more iconic compared to the other songs in C tier. I guess I'll just put it at maybe the bottom of C tier, but it's just not one of my favorites. You know, it is a song they always perform live and people love, it's not my personal favorites. Mummy Dust.
The song is so heavy and really fun live. I think I'll put it in B tier. I think above From the Pinnacle to the Pit, but below Spirit and Zombie Queen for my personal taste. Majesty. Majesty is a cool song. There are so many good songs on this album. I think I would put it probably in B tier, maybe around here. Devil Church is another kind of instrumental interlude. I do like these, but don't listen to them alone. So I guess it will go in D tier with the rest of them, maybe around here. Absolution, this is a great song. This one is one of my favorites from this album. I think I would put it in A tier at the bottom. All right, up next we have Pope Star, Square Hammer, absolutely an iconic song. I think I've listened to it a bit too much though, so it's no longer one of my top favorites, but it is a great song. It's great live, people love it. I think I'll put it in A tier, but at the bottom for now. I don't know though, it is so iconic. It is kind of hard to rank Elizabeth and Ritual over Square Hammer, but I just don't listen to it as much anymore because I just burned out on it. Maybe I should move it up a little bit in the ranking. Let's just put it here, I guess. Now, these are covers again, so I'm not too excited about ranking these. I'll just put these down here. Yeah, let me just remove all the covers here. I just don't listen to them as much as their normal songs. Now we're up to the album Prequel. This is another great one. They just have so many great albums. Up first, we have Life Eternal. This one's a ballad and I actually really like this song. It was really cool hearing it live and it still sticks with me at that moment. So I think I'll rank this one in A tier and yeah, I'm still having tr trouble trying to figure out where to put things within the tier. I think most of them are kind of similar in the tiers. I'll just put it at the bottom for now, maybe reorganize at the end. Now we have Ashes, which is the album opener and kind of instrumental, not too exciting. Let's just put it in D tier. Rats, now this is a classic song. great guitar riffs and the music video is fun as well. This is between S tier and A tier for me. I think it's a pretty iconic one and I really like this song. So yeah, let's, let's go S tier. Faith. This is one of my favorite songs on the album. It's maybe not as well known as Rats, but I love this song. It's so good. Let me just show you some of the riffs here. Love this heavy riff. I think based on the riffs in this song alone, it has to be at least in the A tier. And I think personally now, I would actually put it above a square hammer, but that's that's probably <laughs> controversial. I think I'll just put it right below Ritual. Me, see, the see the Light. This is not one of my favorites from the album, but I do think it's a really good song and I do like it. So I think I'll put it somewhere in B tier maybe around here. Miasma, this is an instrumental, and I think it's probably my favorite of Ghost's instrumental track. I'll put it in B tier. Dance of the Cabaret, this is a really fun song. It's so fun live too, and I just think it's a really great song. Another one I maybe listen to too much. I also like the play on words in the lyric, I want to be with you or be with you. I think this is an A tier song for me. Oh no, I can't, it's so hard to write things within the tiers. I think I'll put it here. <laughs> just because it's a bit more iconic than Zenith, but I do like Zenith too. I, I don't know, this is just where it's gonna go. <laughs> Pro Memoria, let me just look this one up quickly. Don't you forget about it's a good song too. Don't you I'm between B and C tier for this one, honestly. Let's just go with top of C tier if I can get that to go in. Okay, there we go. Which Image, this is a cool song. I definitely like this song. I think this one for me is a B tier. It's not one of my favorite songs, but I do really like it. I think I'll put it around here. Hell, <laughs> Hell Venice Fonster. <laughs> That is a long name. <laughs> I think this is another instrumental passage one. And this is between C and D tier for me. It's not my favorite song ever, but I do think it's good. But I just, I don't like their instrumentals as much in general as their normal songs with singing. So 
I think I'll put it at the top of D tier. Now we're up to seven inches of Satanic Panic with Kiss the Go Goat. This song I really liked at first. I listened to it a bunch though, and I did a cover, and now I'm a little tired of it. So it's not one of my absolute favorites, but I do think it's a good song. I think I'll put this one in C tier somewhere. I think people might like this one more than that, but I just got a little tired of it. So I think I'll put it, oh no, I meant to put it there. There we go. Mariana Cross, this might be their most popular and well-known song now because it blew up on TikTok. And I actually think it's a really good song. I liked it long before the TikTok trend, not to be a hipster. <laughs> But I think it's a really good song and I think some people might rank it lower because they're tired of it or they don't think it's as good as the amount of attention it got, but I actually do think it's really good. It has just such a nostalgic feeling to it and it just, I don't know, I just really like this song. So I think for me, based on that and based on how iconic it is now, I'm putting it in an S tier. I don't know if that's controversial or not with Ghost fans, but I do really like the song. All right, now we're up to their most recent album, Impera. Starting out with Imperium, this is another instrumental opening track. I actually think this one might be better than some of the other ones, and I may just be recency biased because they play it in their concerts too, I believe, at the beginning, and it's a really fun intro. I think I'll put this one in C tier maybe here. Isarian, this is a really fun song. I like this one a lot. It has really cool guitar parts and just a great vibe, I guess. I think I'll put this one, I'm debating between A tier and B tier, but I do really like this song. Put it at the bottom of A tier for now. I like Spillways a lot too. This might be hard. I like all of this album, honestly. This one and Meliora are probably my favorites. I think this is also an A tier one, pretty close to Kaiserian for me. I'll just put it next to Kaiserian for now. So Call Me Little Sunshine. This one is what I listened to too much because I did a cover of it and I don't really listen to it that much anymore. So it's kind of fallen for me a bit. So I think based on that, I would have to be in B or C tier. I think I'll put it in C tier for me personally. I just listen to it too much. Hunter's Moon. So this one they actually wrote for a movie for Halloween Kills. And I did like the song when it came out. I think I over listened to it, which is kind of a common problem for me. I don't dislike it now, but it's not my favorite. I guess I would rank it around Call Me Little Sunshine. So let's put it there. <laughs> Watch Her in the Sky is a really cool song and I love the guitar riffs in it. It's kind of an unusual song, but I really like it. I like how it fades out at the end, just keep playing the same riff over and over again. And live, it's really cool. This is tricky, either A or S tier for me. I'm really reserving S tier for like the most iconic songs. I don't think it's quite there yet because it's kind of a new album, but I do think it's a really good song. I don't know if I can really put it above Faith and Ritual. Maybe I'm being too harsh with these. Maybe I should move those up. I think I'll put it here but maybe I should rearrange some of these into S tier. Dominion is another instrumental transition track, not too exciting. I'll just put it at the bottom of D tier. Twenties, I think, is a controversial one. <laughs> a lot of people really don't like this song. I think it has cool riffs, but I can see why people wouldn't like it as much as well. But I really like that riff. I think this is a weird song, and I know people don't like it, but I do kind of like it. So I think I would put it maybe in B tier, maybe around here. I like this part a lot in this song. I think this song is one where I like some parts of it a lot, but don't love all of it the most. I think it's going to go in B tier though. It's because it's not my absolute favorite, but I do listen to this one a lot. Let's put it out here. <laughs> Bite of Passage. This one's a really short instrumental, not exciting, and not that much of a song even. It's only 30 seconds long. So should I put this in F tier just because it's not even a song? Just so we have something there? Maybe? <laughs> it feels a little mean though, but you know what? Let's do it. This is the F tier. Respite on the Spittlefields. Now, this one might be one of my controversial decisions here. <laughs> I do think it's a good song. I do like it, but it's honestly a little boring to me compared to what I was hoping for as such a long song and the closer of the album. So this one might get me in trouble, but I think I might put it in C tier. I mean, it does have some really cool parts, but it's just not, not one of my favorites. So yeah, 
top of C tier for me. And the last one, Darkness at the Heart of My Love. This is a really cool ballad and probably one of my favorite songs on this album as well. I don't think I can put it in the S tier above these other songs, but I think it belongs in A tier, maybe around, I guess I'll put it near Life Eternal. They're kind of similar. I'll, I'll put it here. <laughs> All right, so this is the final list, but I think I might want to rearrange a few things here. I think I might have been a little harsh, but I only put a few things in the S tier and my C tier is also looking very big right now. And I feel bad about F tier with only having one thing in it. So let's see. I think I'm going to promote Ritual to S tier because it is a classic song and I do love it a lot. <laughs> I'm debating moving Faith or Square Hammer up as well, but I don't know. I mean, Square Hammer is extremely iconic but I'm just a little bit tired of it at this point. So I think it has to say where it is. I'm also going to move Dominion down into F tier. It is good in the context of setting up the next song, but on its own, not the best song. I think I should also move Idolatrine up a bit here, maybe around there. I think I'm also promoting Genesis up because it is a cool instrumental. I think I'll just also move Square Hammer up in the A tier because even though I'm a little tired of it, it is really iconic, so we'll just put it behind faith, which might be controversial, I'm not sure. All right, I think this now is my final list. I'm not totally set on the rankings within the tiers. I think they could be moved around a bit, but I'm pretty happy with the list otherwise, I guess. It is pretty telling though that Ghost For Me doesn't really have any F tier legit songs that are meant to be full songs on their own. I just like most of Ghost songs, even if not all of them are as memorable, I do like pretty much all of them. But let me know in the comments what you think of my choices and let me know what your S tier would be because I'd like to hear. I think I could move some other ones into the S tier maybe, but this works for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.